Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you a bunch of techniques you can use to create splatter nails. Some are fun to create but requires a little bit of cleaning up while others are so easy it's a no-brainer. I hope you can try at least some of these cool techniques to spruce up your nails. And let me know which one's your favorite. Also, leave me a comment if you know any other cool techniques I should try. As always, apply base coat to protect your nails. The first technique isn't really a technique, it's more on the application. All you need is a base color and a bottle of mixed shaped glitter polish like this one from Misha. They are becoming more and more popular so go and get yourself one because they are awesome. After applying a base coat of your choice, go over the entire nail with this glitter polish. It has a mix of glitter strips and various sized and shaped round, square and hexagon glitters. The trick to applying glitter polish is to dab the area that needs a thicker coat. You can also move the glitter chunks around so they spread out to different areas. And there you have it, the easiest splatter nails on the whole interweb. The second way to create splatter nails is to achieve a blob of splatter like this. Looks kind of like the northern star. First apply a base coat of your choice. I went with a gold glitter polish. For my accent nail, I chose a grey glitter polish. As mentioned before, if there are spots that is missed during the first coat, go back and dab around the areas that need a thicker coat. This will help even out the colors. Dab a blob of your splatter color onto the nail. Then use a dotting tool or detail brush and drag lines coming out of the blob. Some long, some short. If the nail polish is running thin, then dab some more onto it. To create a dripping splatter, slightly extend the length of the bottom line longer down the nail. If you want to make your splatter more realistic looking, Google a picture and keep it nearby and try to replicate the shapes of the lines. Then add in a few dots and spots in the same direction as your lines to get the whole splatter effect look. On the accent nail, I did a similar splatter and added in a couple of dripping dots. First place a dot, then drag a single line down the nail and don't forget the dot underneath it. You can do one, two or three splatter shapes on the other nails depending on how many you want to fit onto it. Then finish with top coat to seal the design. The next technique I'm going to demonstrate requires diluting down the colors to a watery consistency. You can do this either with a nail polish and thinners or water-based acrylic paint and some tap water. Start with a coat of white nail polish, then squeeze out some acrylic paint. Add a few drops of water and mix them together to get a watery consistency to the colors. Next, use a square brush and soak the color into the bristles. Then hold the brush with your teeth and use your other hand to swipe and flicker the colors onto the nail. Mm -hmm. 
I have seen videos that simply show that shaking the brush will get the color off, but it didn't work for me, so this is what I came up with. Alternatively, you can use your thumb to flick the brush as well. It's going to get messy, but acrylic paint is easy to clean. If you don't have a square brush, an old toothbrush would do just fine. Do the same for the next few colors. It is quite a messy process and will take a few goes till you can get some on your nails. The thumb flick is a little bit more directional, so up to you which way you want to do it. Use a paper towel or some newspaper underneath to catch all the flyaways. After a few goes, you will get the hang of it and understand where the drops were likely to fall. Once you finish with all the colors, it's time to clean up the murder scene. Acrylic paint is water-based, so you can easily wipe everything off using a wet towel. Alternatively, you can apply top coat over your design to seal in your work. Wait for that to dry and just go rinse your hands under the tap water to wash away the mess. The last technique I'm going to share with you today is this very stringy type of splatter. To achieve this, we will need the help of a sipping straw and a lung full of air. Start with the base color of your choice, then use sticky tape to wrap around your nails to reduce cleanup time later. First place one end of the tape on the side of the nail, then wrap it around the tip and finish on the other side of the finger. Take a second piece of tape to cover the area below the nail, joining the tape on either side. Do this to all of your fingers. Next, apply the first splatter color into the opening of the straw. Make sure you get as much as you can inside the straw. Then place the other side of the straw in your mouth. Take aim of the polished side and blow into it fast and strong in the direction of your nails. The results will vary, but you'll get the hang of it after a few goes. Once you finish with the first color, use scissors to cut off the end of the straw to start with a new color. It took me a couple of times before I even got it onto the nail, but when you do, the result is pretty awesome. You will never be able to freehand draw details like this. Plus, this is pretty fun to do, despite the cleaning up part. By the time I got to my second color, I was already much more precise in getting the polish onto the nail bed. When you're happy with the coverage of the splatters, use scissors to cut off the bottom side of the tape and peel it off your fingers. Having the tape on prevented a lot of cleaning up time. Use a cotton bud, soaked in polish remover and clean away the excess polish around the cuticles. Once you're done, apply top coat to seal in the design and you have yourself a pretty cool splatter effect nail art design. And there you have it, some fun and interesting way to create splatter nails. If you like this video, please rate it, share it and add it to your favorite playlist. Try it with your favorite colors and subscribe to my channel for weekly new videos on Thursday, Wednesday night if you're in the US or Canada. Please check out my channel for more nail art tutorials. Thanks for watching.